My last show at the Citizens Theatre before we close for redevelopment is a production of Long Day's Journey Into Night by Eugene O'Neill. This is a play that O'Neill wrote in the early 1940s, although it's set in 1912. And it is uh, an autobiographical play about a family, the Tyrone family, who are a theatrical family. James Tyrone, the dad, is has been a sort of matinee idol. He is married to Mary, who is a morphine addict, and they have two sons. Undoubtedly, one of the reasons why this is such a great play is that O'Neill is so honest and brutal in the depiction of family relationships. And although this family are in a very kind of uh, extreme situation, um, the way that they behave with each other, the way they argue, the way they love each other, the way that they at one moment are screaming and shouting and then the next way they, they're kind of hugging each other, um, ap- with ap- is absolutely honest and brilliant in terms of depicting a kind of family dynamic. There's lots of references in the play to the characters being like ghosts and that they're characters who are kind of stuck uh, in this world, that, that they're... It's, it, Although it takes place over one day into a night time, you could almost believe that the following day they're going to get up and exactly the same things would happen again. They're in a kind of limbo, purgatorial world. It's undoubtedly one of the greatest plays I have I have ever worked on. I think it's a work of absolute genius. It's a masterpiece. Um, O'Neill was an extraordinary writer who completely changed the 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 future, I think, of of American drama in the in the twentieth century.